welcome. My name's Jo, I'm Jo Yoga. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the Kundalini Kriya. Um, we're going to be doing some brain work. So, one of the amazing things about our brains is that throughout our life, our capacity to learn more stuff just grows and grows and grows and grows. Yes, it becomes harder to learn stuff. We all say as we get older, it seems harder, but our capacity to do that is still there. We just don't tend to use our brain as much. So when we're learning new stuff, we've still got this capacity to learn, and it's fantastic that we can do that. Um, and through yoga, the using the drishti that we use, the mantra that we use, the mudras, all of this is improving the neuroplasticity of our brains. So yoga just isn't about breathing and you know making beautiful shapes with the body. It actually really improves our capacity to learn and to retain information. It's so good for the brain. So we're going to be doing some really brilliant Kundalini stuff today that's going to help with our brain work. Through um, our drishtis, uh, you know, keeping that focus, we really stimulate the pituitary gland and the pineal gland and the hypothalamus, all of these that create the happy hormones um, and that send beautiful messages around the body. So, you know, all of this stuff that we're doing is really, really valuable. Let us begin by tuning in. So, sitting comfortably, make sure you're in some comfy clothes and you're going to be undisturbed for the next 20 minutes or so that so you can really get into your yoga practice. Just bring your knees, uh, hands onto your knees, excuse me, and the tall spine. Close your eyes and take some deep breaths in and out through the nose. And become aware of your sitting bones connecting with the earth or the chair, whatever it is that you're sitting on. Your spine is tall and the top of your head is reaching up to the sky. And just allow yourself to be in this space, the honour, the fact that you are here today, that you're giving yourself this time. And just checking in as well, noticing thoughts that run around in your head, noticing how your body is feeling, notice emotions, just anything that life has delivered you to experience today. Bring your hands together at your heart centre. Rub your hands. And we'll tune in with Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. So bring your hands together at your heart centre. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. And let's tune in to begin. Om Namo there will be some breath of fire. Breath of fire is a powerful breath in and out through the nose in equal measure and as you exhale you bring your navel in and up to push the air out through the nose powerfully. If you are pregnant or on the first few days of your cycle do not pump your navel on your breath of fire just do a lovely long deep breathing. So we're going to begin in easy pose and we have the hands by the side and we're going to be bringing them up and down nice and straight with breath of fire.
Inhale up. Hold the breath. Squeeze the mullerbans so and squeeze the anus, the sex organs. Pull the navel in and up. And exhale, relax the arms down. Just be still, absorb the benefits of the exercise, eyes closed. For the next exercise, you're going to be on your tummy, coming into locust pose. So on your tummies, Feet are off the floor, arms are off the floor, inhale up, exhale down, and continue 26 times. When you've finished your, your 26th one, just rest. Rest with your hands, on your um, head on your hands, and just relax. Let your back relax. Of course, at any time during this, you, and you need to relax, you must relax, okay? Always paying attention to your body, doing what is right for you, but also seeing if you can keep up. Is it the mind stopping you, or actually can your body go a little bit further? You know, just see what your limits are and go for it. And just, the experience is often on the other side, of the pain as long as you can take a deep breath and just see what's there for you. So just rest for a moment. And then to continue, we're going to repeat that exercise, but this time you're going to kick your own butt. Now if, like me, your feet don't quite touch your bottom, you can try flexing your feet and see if that, but have the intention of kicking your own butt, okay? And we're going again, 26 times. Inhale up, exhale down. When you've done your 26, take a well-deserved rest. Deep breaths, resting your head on your hands. Oh. The one thing I love about Kundalini is that when you're in it, sometimes you're really, really like, oh, I can't do it anymore, I can't do it anymore, and you find you can do a couple more. And then that release at the end, when you get that breath, and you just feel this incredible energy in the body. Okay, bringing yourself over onto your tummy, uh, not onto your tummy, sorry, on your back. What we're gonna do this time is you're gonna be resting. Bring your hands onto your belly, legs up in the air, and you're going to just lift your bottom up off the floor. And again, we're going to do this 26 times. So in your own time, off you go.
When you finish your 26, just bring yourself down to rest. Bring the feet down onto the floor. Close your eyes and again, just let that energy travel around, travel through the body. I had just drunk a bottle of, uh, glass of water before doing that so I could feel it all blah, 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 gurgling away in my stomach. And then bring your knees into your chest. We're going to walk all the way up and actually come up onto our feet. Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be like really charging the energy up into our brains. So we're going to be from up here, our inhale, we're bringing the hands up over the head. And as we exhale, we come down into a deep squat and clap in front. So this is our inhale, exhale, 26 times. And when you finish, standing tall and take some deep breaths. Woo. And we're really pumping the energy up from the earth, up through the legs, up through our lower chakras to send it to our higher chakras. And I shall get my breath. And bring yourself back down into easy pose. Har, 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 hari. Har, 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 hari. Okay? And so we have our arms out to the side and on the hards, one, two, three. And then I have to check my list here. Har, 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 hari. Touch the ground. Har, 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 hari. Above your head. Har, 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 in front. Hug, hug, hug behind. Okay, so the hugs are here, and it's either ground, head, front, behind. Okay? Good, I'm going to do it without the notes now. Are we ready? So arms out to the side, deep breath in, and hug, 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 hurry. Hug, 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 hurry. Hug, 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 hurry. Hug, 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 hurry. Ha 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 re. 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 
Ha 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 And breathe out. Again, just be really still. Really notice. Really feel how you are feeling. In this next bit, we're just going to meditate to the music. If you feel that your body wants to move, then move the body.
then slowly, with as little movement as possible, bring yourself down into a relaxation position, coming into Shavasana. Lay yourself down on your back. And take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just let yourself flop down into the earth. Relax your feet. Let your legs be heavy. Let your lower back just sink down into the earth. Your shoulders, your arms, let the backs of your hands rest on the floor, palms facing up. Fingers and thumbs curling in naturally. Let your head, neck and spine all be in line, your eyes lightly closed. As you breathe in, you're breathing in relaxation, peace and healing. As you breathe out, you're letting go of anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Any stress, any pain, any worries, let it all go. You are perfect just as you are, right in this place, right at this time. Let yourself surrender. Take another deep breath in through your nose. And as you breathe out, just let your body relax down further, 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 as if your muscles are made of liquid and your bones are made of sponge. Just relax down. This is your time. Let everything download. Let all the healing, let all those new brain cells we've just produced, let them settle into their new homes. Let your perfect being, just be where you are right now. We are honoured to share this time together. We are honoured to walk this path together, to be here at this time. The earth needs you. The planet needs you. And as you surrender down further, I want you just to witness a tiny spark at your height, at your heart centre, a tiny glow, this beginning spark, this ember at your heart centre, your inner light, your inner spark. And with every breath you take, you ignite the spark further. It beams brighter, it grows stronger until it becomes a burning flame right there at your heart center. Allow this flame to shine a light, to beam it out, to beam it into the space around you, to merge with others around you. And with every breath, this flame, this light gets stronger, gets brighter until it bursts out through the walls of the building that you are in or the space that you are in and it begins to beam and spread right across your community. Feel this heat, feel this energy at your heart centre as you connect with everybody within your community. And with every breath it gets even stronger and starts to spread even further until it, goes, it expands beyond the community and into the entire country you are in. There are no limits to how far you can spread this flame. It can go around the world, it can heal, it can touch, it can connect. Allow yourself to connect and be that powerful. Allow yourself this unlimited potential. Be this bright, powerful you. And now I ask you to take a deep breath in through your nose and sigh out through your mouth. And again, a deep breath in through your nose and sigh it out through your mouth. And 
just beginning to connect with the sounds that are in the space around you. Begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes, just getting ready for some movement. Make circles with your hands and circles with your feet. Have a stretch, stretch your arms above your head, allow yourself to stretch, stretch, stretch. And bring your knees into your chest and hug them in tightly and give yourself a loving, well-deserved hug. Cricket, rub your hands and your feet together. So we rub the soles of the feet and the palms of the hands. Hug your knees. And we're going to rock up and down. And down. And just coming all the way up into easy pose. I'm honoured to have shared today's practice with you. If you would like more Kundalini Yoga from me, then please go to my website uh, where I have a beautiful six-part programme for women that includes uh, Kundalini Yoga, meditations, lifestyle trainings to really encourage, develop, support um, women everywhere to live their soul-led life and to be the incredible nurturers, the incredible beautiful beings that we are. Bring your hands together at your heart centre. And let's tune out with one long sat now. Take a deep breath in. So Please subscribe to my channel so that I can share so much more yoga with you and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next time. All my love.